I, I believe that is the case. I think also we're in an era of education and schooling where people think that the professionals in the situation actually believe that their role is simply to do one thing and that's to deliver content. But if education is about changing behavior, about modifying behavior, about raising uh, a particular kind of citizen, but it, then it, chemistry knowledge, geography knowledge, Spanish knowledge alone cannot raise that citizen. It means that there is something that we ought to be doing in the context that help young people to understand why is this behavior not appropriate. Even though you come with it and you've known it all your lives and you see it inside your community and you see it somewhere else and you see it on the TV and you hear it in the music, inside the school system, what are we doing in terms of helping them to understand? How do I figure out why this behavior is not appropriate, why this is not the right thing to do in this situation. But when we move from zero to 100, and we say, well, we'll expel you, we'll suspend you, to what end? Because it means that what we've taught, we've taught them something in the process and something that, that doesn't allow them to deal with conflict and to be able to resolve those things. So I'm hearing a number of things. Um, so. As an educator yourself, um, the question that, that comes to mind now, do you think that our expectations of teachers are too high, whereas wherein we want to we want to have them teach, yes, but in addition to teaching, just the delivering content, we want we want structure, we want uh, all those other things. And persons have said it's unfair to make such a request of teachers, of educators. But you seem to be saying that it can't just be a case whereby they are simply delivering content. So that's exactly what I'm saying. 